In this video, I'm going to show you how to interlock two objects inside of Photoshop, kind of like two rings, except we're going to use tires. Hey, Cafe crew, Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com. Welcome to another Back to Basics weekend. And this week, we're going to be using layer masks to interlock two objects. So kind of like two rings, except we're going to use tires. Here's a picture of tires that I grabbed from Adobe Stock. You can use any pictures you want. And if you want to know how to find these kind of pictures, just simply go into your library here and just type in things like tires. And I'm in Adobe Stock. Then you can see pictures of tires and you'll find this picture that I have there. And then when you find it, just click the plus button and that will open it. And then you can use the watermark version. All right, and if you don't have access to these tires and you don't want to find them, go to 3D. Under 3D, choose New Mesh from Layer. And in the Mesh Presets, you can just create a donut. And this will create a 3D donut. And all you need to do with our first tool there is just click and drag up to change the angle. And if you just hold the Alt or the Option key and zoom out, you can see the donut right there. So just change it to the angle that you want it at. Maybe something like this. And then all you need to do is right click on that layer and then just choose Rasterize 3D. This now gives you a regular layer and you can go ahead, Control J, copy it, rotate it, do all the things that we're going to do with the tire. And there we go. You have an object right there inside of Photoshop that you can use for this example. All right, so let's just grab our object selection tool and just draw around the tire and let it make a selection. We want to cut out the middle, so hold down the Alt or the Option key, which will take away from the selection. Just go there, and that will cut out that little hole in the donut. And if it doesn't get it, just Control Z. Let's just undo that, and then we could just grab our magic wand if we wanted to. So we're going to hit the Alt or the Option key to take away from that, and there we go. So sometimes you use these tools in combination. And we want to mask it out, so just click here on the mask. Great. All right, so why don't we expand our canvas a little bit. So I'm just gonna option scroll wheel to zoom out a little bit. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna grab our crop tool. And with the crop tool, we're just gonna drag it out a little bit bigger just to give us more canvas to play around with. Great. Now let's position our tire. We go grab the move tool, which is the V key. And let's just hit control T for free transform. And we're gonna rotate this a little bit. Great. So now we want to create the second tire. Control J will copy it. Let's go to Control T. That's Command T on Mac. And here's our copy. And we can just kind of move this around. And let's put it somewhere here. So now we've got two tires, one over the top of the other. What we want to do now is interlock them. And it can be a little confusing, but it's not difficult. Let me zoom in a little bit. So all we need to do is use a layer mask and paint away the areas that we want to put behind the other tire. And I would say this would be a nice frontal area. And maybe this section should go inside the other tire. So let's make sure we're on the correct tire layer just by turning that layer on and off. That's great. And we're going to work in the mask. So if we paint with black, we can paint away the area we don't want. Now, we don't have to haphazardly just paint and hope that we get good at it. We can actually use the layer mask from the tire underneath to help us. So if I control click on the layer mask underneath, that's command click on Mac, that loads the selection from the underlying layer. And that's from the mask there. Now we're gonna paint on the mask on top making sure we've got black as our foreground and we've got a brush. Now we can just paint and notice what we're doing here. That mask is protecting us. So we can go in here and we can do it. Now sometimes you have to do a little manual work without the mask, which would be here. So we're just kind of trying to figure out, okay, where would that tire be? Maybe we've gone over. If you've gone over a little bit, just hit the X key and that'll give us white as the foreground. Let's go a little bit smaller and we're just going to paint that back in. So just carefully paint it back in. So what we're doing is bringing back 
that part of the layer went too far there brush tool and then it just hit the X key and it just paint with black if you go too far there we go and let's hit control D to turn off the selection okay so if we look at this now we have this tire here it is now going inside the other tire now if it feels like well maybe this should be a little bit repositioned watch what's gonna happen we're gonna have our mask get a little bit weird but we think it's going to look better here. So what we need to do is just touch up the mask. So once again, control click on that layer underneath to load that selection. See how that selection is going to help us go to our layer mask. And if we want to paint away, let's go here, grab our brush. And now I'm painting with black to fix up that area. All right. It's looking pretty good. And notice we can't fix that, right? So if we flip it around, we can't paint it back. So what do we do here? Well, what we need to do is if we hide this, we can see, ah, we need to fix our tire here. So why is it not letting me fix it there? I'll tell you why, because this selection is active and that selection will enable me to paint it here. See that? I can paint it there, but I can't get him behind the rest of the tire. So we want to paint just in here. Now, what we're going to do is going to inverse that selection, Command Shift I, and now we're just going to paint inside this area. So that means I can paint on the inside of that tire and see how we can't go over the line. Let me just show you if I go here with that selection active, let me create a new layer and I'll just show you. See, we can paint in there, but we can't paint outside. That's what's happening. If we invert this command shift I, now we can paint outside, but we can't paint inside. So this is how we can invert these masks and they help us with the selections. So obviously we've got a little bit of cleanup work to do on the tire there. And so we're gonna have to go back and just try and get it perfect. But there's another way we can do that is why don't we get the selection fresh from this tire? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this selection for now. And what I did is I just hit the shift. See that? The shift uh, tap on the layer mask and that hides it. And let's go in here. And let's just grab our magic wand really quickly with this layer selected. Select. Hit the shift key and now I've selected that again. And so now we've got that selection of that area. We want the area of the tire. And I'm going to save this. So I'm going to choose select save selection, call it tire one, click OK. Control D to turn it off. And now we're just going to turn our mask back on. Just simply click on that mask and then we go back. So you can show or hide a mask by hitting the shift key and clicking on it. All right, so we want to make this nice and clean. This is the layer we're working on, obviously, because the under tire, we haven't touched the other tire. Just remember, we're only painting on this one tire to do this. So we need to paint in this mask, but I want the edge of that tire. So what we can do now is we can load in that selection that we made. Select, load selection. Let's go down under the channel and we're going to choose tire one. That's the selection we made. And look at that. There's our selection nice and active. Now, just grab our black brush because the black is going to take away the black hides and the white shows. So let's hit the X key, make sure we're on black and we just paint it away. Now, if you were painting on the inside of the tire instead of the outside of the tire, you would inverse that selection. Command Shift I, Control Shift I on Mac. If we go up under here, we can choose Select Inverse. That's the same thing we're doing there. So either you're painting inside or you're painting outside. And let's hit Control D and we can see now we've got these tires looking pretty good. So I challenge you to do something like this. It's really going to sharpen your masking skills and it's going to get you thinking. So you might have to watch this video several times. In fact, you might have to watch it multiple times, but persevere with it and watch it and see if you can get this yourself. So I'm curious, did you guys have trouble with this or were you able to figure it out really quickly? Let me know underneath in the comments. And also if you found this challenge useful, even though it might be a little bit of a puzzle for you right now, by the time you solve this, this is really gonna grow your skills in using masks inside of Photoshop. 
And by the way, if you are new here to Photoshop Cafe, first of all, welcome. Great to have you. So consider hitting that subscribe button, become part of the Cafe crew, turn on all notifications, and you'll get new videos from me every week. Every Tuesday, a regular upload. Every Thursday at 1 p.m. we do live from lockdown, which is our live stream, 1 p.m. Pacific time. And then every weekend, our Back to Basics weekend. So anyway, guys, if you liked it, smash the like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe. It's kind of like a tongue twister for show. For